Okay, I think we are about ready. One second. Blinds off, that's got it. That's good. Uh, there we go. <coughs> oh, camera's a little too low. There we go. That's better. That's a bit better. Okay. We're going to continue attempting Chapter 9. Last time, we got very close. Last time... We made it to the boss, however, when, oh, uh, Katria was standing right here to get rid of this guy, this guy used his Bulganon and had enough damage to just take, da take down Katria. So that sucks. I don't know what else she should have done, but we were on the right track. Now I'm realizing Wendell's not really needed. At least not for this chapter, it seems like. Okay. Again, Julian is gonna continue doing this. Again, you can have Marth open the treasure chest. But the problem with doing that is that Marth, uh... You know, he needs to get to the village. Which, honestly, with my Pegasus, they can stop the thieves. That's not an issue. But you gotta deal with all the reinforcements that are showing up. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't want to lure this guy down. Katria goes here. Prioritizing Katria right now out of the two. Once she's basically ready to promote, then Shida will get priority. Strength, skill, weapon level, resist, and HP. At least she got strength. That's what really matters. You know, actually, the resistance is very useful. Because these guys have seven attack. Now Katria is immune to them. You go here. I need That's right. I keep forgetting I need to do that. Now, uh, actually, you know what? I might move Magma in another square instead. Thieves are not going to attack me. I'm not worried about that. You know what? I'm going to put Agma right here instead. Make sure the steel is equipped. Lind. I need Lind closer. She is going to be big priority. We're going to have Lind. Get rid of these mages. Let's see if I can get Ryan closer as well. Uh, draw, you stay close, I guess. You get close. Brody. I might have Lindo go to the right, just to, because apparently he's not needed here. So, I just kind of want him out of the way. The commander of Cain's mage army is a youth called Elrin. Okay. He is not a bad guy. He can be unreasonable. 
commander of Caden's mage army is Elrin. He seems to really hate Merrick. The only person that could stop him is probably Bishop Wendell. Okay, we're talking about a different mage. That's where I was getting into... That's where I was confused. The commander of the Caden mages. It's... Okay, so it's probably just referring to next chapter. Okay. I, that's where the confusion came in. That's where the confusion came in. So Windows probably going to be needed for next chapter. That's a hit for next chapter. Okay. I'll take it. Come on, Agma, you got this. Yeah, crits. Get that crit. head up. Okay. How far can Lynn go? She could get into the spot I would want her to. Yeah. So. And she's just going to be doing with the mages for a little bit. So, and Ogma, I want to level up. So I'm going to actually set Ogma right here. I'll have him grab the KO. Jogma, good dodge. Level 18 is strength, skill, speed, luck, weapon level. Perfect. This new Twitch update sucks. Yeah, the mobile one, yeah, I was getting... I'm not used to the new mobile version either. Strength, skill, speed. Yeah, Agma's at 13 strength. The skill is almost capped. Speed's got two more to go. Agma's doing really good. Okay, on. Time to trade all this over. Oh yeah, how's it going? Got the popcorn dog. Yeah, having to maneuver the new Twitch mobile is kind of weird. But you know that's the exact reason why they did it. You're like, oh, everyone else is doing it. Let's just copy what they're doing. And here's the thing. Does it even make it easier to find uh, live streams that you... Like, just to find new streamers? Or is it really just mostly meant to, like, find either the ones you're fo already fo following or the popular ones that are on the front page? If, if I were to guess, that's really all it's now easier to do, I guess, on mobile. No, one damage. Yeah, it shows the big names, and you can easily click on the ones for the followers. Uh, the ones you are following, anyway. So, yeah, they... It's really just to... Promote the big, the big boys, basically. Make it even harder for, uh... Smaller streamers to get noticed. At least when you're on mobile, anyway. PC is still pretty much the same. Our break at work. Probably going to be work lurking for the rest of the stream. Yeah, it's all good. Do what you need to do. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to be working on chapter 9. 
which uh, I got very close to finishing yesterday. I made it all the way here, and uh, I had Katria stand here and she took out this guy, but then this guy used Bolgan on, on Katria and died, and Katria died. I'm gonna have Window go this, go this way. Just to kind of get out of the way. One less person to be in that crowd. I th and the thing is, uh, Katria just already had taken a lot of damage. She was at like around half HP. If she was at full health, she would have survived. Right now, since I'm really trying to get my units get moving as fast as possible, because the first few rounds I was really trying to give levels to my archers one at a time, and it was working fine, but I just wasn't getting away fast enough. Strength, speed, luck, weapon level. Perfect. So now what, what I'm doing is I'm having Lind deal with the mages over here because she could clear them out very quickly. As currently Z plan. Okay. I might as well have Katria get in range of this Draco Knight. Over. Sheeta goes and gets rid of the And what am I gonna level up? Well, right now the focus will be Katria, I guess Lind, and Agma. Those are the priorities for this chapter, I guess. Sadly, some of the ones that probably need levels, like my calves, are really just not gonna be able to. Level 9, skill speed, luck, weapon level. So, like, Katria will get very close. Like, she'll probably get to level 18 by the end of this. Maybe, you know, near the end of level 17 sort of thing. And with all these shards, she's going to get very good stat boosts. But once Katria is ready to promote, I'm going to take all those shards and probably just hand them over to Sheeta. So that way Sheeta can get some stat boosts. Because look at that strength. That is nothing. That is just garbage strength. She needs more strength. I actually did like using Katria. Well, I, I should say I had a few Katria uh, PNGs that I, I like the designs of. I think I had a, uh, I think I had an Easter one that I liked. Two squares up. I should get you in range of some of them while avoiding this Draco Knight. Ogma needs to be able to get in range of this one soon. Ogma, what is your... Yeah, you can stick with the Steel Sword for now. We're gonna have to give him a new one. I don't necessarily want to get in range of other mages. And Lind is gonna take out that one. So, that's fine. Actually, I'm... there's part of me that's curious of what Catrius I have. I might boot up my profile just to figure out what catches I actually do have. Again, I I don't boot up heroes anymore. Again, like I'm the type of player that would just like to collect the different characters, get them to five star, and get them to level forty, but. The whole stamina system just disencourages me in grinding, you know? It's... If I'm like, oh, I want to take an afternoon and just grind this character up. Nah, the game's not letting me. And also, you gotta make sure that you have your feathers. 
you don't have your feathers, you can't really do it. You know what? I'm gonna pull it up. Curious. I know I have like six, five or six different Camillas. When there's like 12. Is Camilla still the unit with the most uh, different skin, different versions? The refine wasn't bad at the time, a little restrictive, but not too bad. She's within range of two flying allies. She gets plus three to our stats during combat and has the brave effect. That sounds pretty good. She, if she initiated. If there's no flying ally, she only gets the slain effect, which lowers the max cooldown of specials. That sounds nice, but that basically requires you to do a, uh, have a flying team, basically. Which means you're very weak to archers. Okay, let's see. Oh, I didn't realize Ogma was in range. That's too bad. Okay, uh, there should be a... Nice. I know there's a, uh... Catalog of Heroes. Luckily, Catria shouldn't be that hard to find. Oh, I only have two Catrias. I thought I had more. Oh, no, I remember... It's not that I have multiple Catrias. It's that... I, not only do I have the Pegasus Trio, you know, the base forms, I have all three uh, Easter variants for uh, those three characters. That's what I was going for at the time. Okay. But yeah, no, I have just base Catria and Easter Catria. And then with S and Paula, I have their normals and their Easter variants. That's what it is. Okay. I know there's more Catrias. There's always more of the... There's always more characters. Especially with the female characters. Or the main characters. Anyway. Okay, up here, um... I wasn't paying attention. Five... What's your... Name? Fourteen... I think a steel should be fine. If you had the flying trio, you could get away with some quick crazy plays. Paula had a rep triangle thing where she did 20% uh, damage to green units, but did 20% less to blue. When Ketri is still fine. Huh. Uh, strength, skill, luck, HP. But again, there's like... There's the part of me that wanted to kind of get back into it, and by get back to it, be like, collect some characters and try to start just level grinding them, basically, right? But the whole mobile system of being just the stamina system, limiting how much you can play at a time, that's what annoys me. like if I'm in range of the dragon, the Draco Knight, I am... Oh no, I don't have to be much. Okay, I, I see, I see. If I move one square to the left, I can hit the three mages. Yeah, that's right. Wind will be okay. Does Est have anything special? was better than both weapon-wise. Well, she is supposed to be the growth unit. Theoretically, she's supposed to be the best one. Strength, speed, weapon. Or she could be the best one. She had the Catria stuff minus the slaying effect, but her bonus was she had Armor Slayer. Ah, that made her high-value buff flyer. Her attack stat very much better than Sheeta. Means more consistent kills. I see, I see. And too bad there's no, uh... Oh, what is it? There's no, uh, triangle attack. I 
I don't think I can get in range without getting in range of the mage. So Agma has to sit back for a second. I might as well heal Lind. It's not hurting anything. So, Lin should be able to take out this mage and this mage. Ogma is going to lure this Draco Rider out of the way. Uh, in a few turns, uh, actually, Katri is going to lure this one over next. Because I'm not worried about her getting hit by a. Uh, But I'm, I'm trying to get over here as soon as possible, and Ogma's going to sit here and just try to uh, lure out all of them. Be the only one close enough and try to survive. Lind will try to deal with some of these guys. got this. We're gonna use up Aura. There we go. Okay, good. KO and a crit with it. There's no kill like overkill. Okay. Okay, just the just the thieves. If I go here, let's see. I wanna get I wanna get this guy out of the way. Which help you have? You're good. I wanna get this guy moving. Two away from the feet. If I go here, we equip the silver. Go ahead and let Sheeta get a thief taken out. There we go. Perfect. Get out of here. Oh, right. I forgot to pull up my uh, the shards list, so I have those at a glance. Julian already opened both chests. You can just head up. So, like, uh, is there, like, because I mentioned I have the Easter variants of those characters, uh, oh, that's still kind of, can kind of work, but it'll probably be too much investment for a little reward. Most PvP modes show have bad times, since armor units aren't meta, right, makes sense. You're probably better off with Katria at that point, until armor becomes meta. So... Uh, I'm guessing those are base, Pala, Katria, and Est, right? Is there anything special of the of the of the Easter variants? Move. 
So I was thinking going here, but I think I could go... No. I have to go here. Perfect. I have to say, this song is actually kind of catchy. This song is actually kind of in my head. Uh, Katria and Orshida can deal with the mages up here. Lind is fine. I'm not worried. hate that wait is the first option. But yeah, is there, is there like special strategies you could do with the Easter variants? Too much damage now to go against the boss. She would probably need some healing. If only she dodged, it would have been better. Ooh, okay. I think it needs to go to an archer. Katria isn't great. She does debuffs, the highest attacker speed enemy, whichever is higher. It gets 10% plus 10 to attack at speed, as well as reduce 30% for both first attack during combat. Hmm. And of course, that's never gonna get a rework or anything. The meta isn't going to buffer. Oh, I forgot to attack. Well, fine, it's going to Sheeta then. Oh, that is the rework? How long ago was that rework? It, she has the exact amount of HP to die. She needs one more point of HP. So Katria, if I want her to help out over here, she needs to move down here to get healed. Okay. Uh, I guess I could hand the KO to Warren. Give 
some EXP. There we go. Make up in skills and investment, but she's gonna struggle against piercing damage reduction, right? Uh, I've already made my complaints about you know power creep and gotcha stuff, so I'm not gonna make that argument. You know, only one mage can get in range right now before I have to deal with another dragon rider. Let's get Ryan in range. Let's trade with Ogma. Okay. Make sure the steel's equipped. Steel's gonna break on the next fight. Let's go ahead and heal ya. If only I had Physic right now. Because Catria could totally use it. She was older, and at that time, Susan has got inheritable weapons. Mm -hmm. Strength, skill, luck, and HP. Good for Ryan. He needs that strength. He needs that boost in strength. Now he's at, tw he's at 12. Okay, good for him. Next. We gotta lure this guy. If I move two in front of Ryan, we'll be in range. Alright. And from there... Good. I, I don't think Agma's gonna level up, not from this. So here's what I'm thinking the plan is. I'm gonna trade over all of this stuff to Lynn. Because she's gonna prioritize going up here. So she's gonna need a little bit more focus. I'll have Rody go here so he can trade soon. I want both my archers close by. up here. I might as well heal Ryan just cause. Six, or just six HP. 
Level 12. Weapon level and HP. Aw. Oh. Too bad I couldn't really utilize getting your strength, but... Well, actually, I could have. I didn't matter. I just didn't. Do it right. Um... Okay. Catra needs healing. She can ignore the mages for now. I need to make sure to stay out of range of you. Fine by doing this. Spring S beats out both of them. She gets plus 9 to all her stats during combat, has Kanto. She dispels any stat debuffs from herself. Guaranteed follow up attack. She applies exposure. Enemies with this debuff receive plus 10 damage. And if the enemy has a debuff, they can't counter attack her. Jesus. That's insane. Sounds like I need to boost Spring S. give the KOs to Sheeta. It's not doing anything. It's not gonna hurt much. Um, unless I really want to give the KOs to other units. Now let's see. Alright. you there. Alright. And the reinforcements have arrived. Agma's going to need to stand his ground soon. Oh, that's not good. Oh, only two damage. It's not dangerous. Oh no, eight damage. We got a crit. I don't need Ogma to get the KO. That's not necessary. But we gotta get moving. Ogma needs to stand his ground at the fort and survive. Everyone else tries to get to the boss and kill him. Ogma's our best shot. Can you make it? Oh. I at least gotta get you close. Okay. Uh, I don't think Warren will level up, so I'll go ahead and have him go here. Just use your iron. She'll still struggle against damage reduction. That not being countered. But that not being countered is gonna help her. Exactly. Level 10, strength, weapon, and HP. That strength really matters, so I'll take it. Wind, you... I can move her up and left. Oh, I can make this work. Up and left. Do this. Dance. Now it's a rush to get to the boss. Make sure everyone else lives. Draco Knights. Katria, go right ahead. Grab this KO. Perfect. The 
Slim Lance broke, sadly. Level 18, Strength, Skill, and def Defense and HP. Strength, Skill, Defense, and HP. So, Skill's capped. Uh, strength needs five more uh, levels. However, her promoting will probably give her a boost or two. It's probably going to be defense and resistance that we'll need to prioritize next. Heal. Actually, that has a better shot. Somewhere right here. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay. Magma, get right here. Rody, get up here. We're going to trade over the steel sword. Magma, it is your last stand. Must hold your ground. Uh, we'll go here. No one else is close. Everyone's safe. Is that it? Joanne and Wendell. Okay, they're fine. Fine. I'm okay with that. I can give Sheeta this KO. It, even if she got hit, it would have only been one damage. Okay. Yeah, so, some characters are gonna get hit by Swarm. That's fine. scary. This is terrifying. Okay. I'll let Sheeta have this. Oh, damn it. It's my bad. That's a two. Fine, it's going to Marth, I don't care. Okay. Minerva, go ahead and buy... I need you to buy stuff. We're gonna have you buy a Blizzard for Lind. We're gonna let you buy another heal. Start getting close. Lint. What are we looking at? Where's your res? Four? Where's your attack? 21. An attack of 21 with a res of four. No attack speed. Lint can only get hit once. However, these guys, I don't think, can attack up close. to attack. Res of 11. 13. 26. Not enough. It is not enough. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy.
Luckily, she's fast enough to double. There we go, that'll help. Level 9, strength, speed, weapon level. We got a mend. So, actually, now with that strength boost, I think she'll get the win. I think she'll just win. Just needs to run away. Maybe I should have Draw go to the right as well with Wendell. Probably would have been better. Oh, great. Ryan's in range. Well, if we want to protect Ryan... Yep, if we want to protect Ryan, we have to do that. Alright, see how this goes. Trespass this temple. Unforgivable. Yeah, we've already fought this guy. Okay, we survive. Four HP. With aura, I think we could get the kick. Well, we'll get it with a crit, that's for sure. That'll do. Level 10. Strength, skill, speed, luck, weapon level, defense. That's a good level. Elrin, is what we're doing really okay? Okay, we'll put the mend in storage. Okay. Magma, you gotta survive this. And we get a crit, that helps. Come on, Agma. Do you level up? Yeah! Level 19, strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. And that's without any of the shards. Even if he was on the four, he won't survive this onslaught. And Marth is too far away. There's nothing I can do. Marth, you have to you have to get close. Catch catch you? Yeah, well I'll let catch you. I guess, and that's all I'm doing. Yes, that's all I'm doing. Alright, well, I don't know what to do now. Everyone needs to try to back off. Range of that guy. He's 
within range of the archer of the sniper. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go here. Make sure that his iron's equipped. That works. Ryan will get attacked by... Well, Ogma could get attacked by the sniper as well. And Ryan could get attacked by the hero! There's nothing I can really do. You can't get close to Marth. Do we just have to hope for lucky dodges? Speed of six. Well, I see a death coming. I don't know what I can do. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think it's too late. Someone dies. And there it is. So close. So close. Yeah. Alright. I think we could get it next time. I think I could get it next round. Yeah, we're gonna make some changes. Not necessarily to the what units I bring, though. Um, first of all, well, I can select any one person. It's not a big deal. Okay. First of all, we're gonna start trading. Uh, it was Warren and Far. We're just gonna do that right now. Get that done. Make that save. Next. Uh, Rody has the steel sword that he's still gonna keep that. We're gonna just use up Ogma's steel sword first. Kind of like normal. Uh, everyone else. We don't need to transfer any weapons. I don't think so. Hey! No, none of that. Even barking at. I gotta calm her down because she's not gonna stop barking. Give me a minute.
I am back. Hey, Juice. How's it going? Um, we just failed the first attempt of Chapter 9 for today. Uh, I'm gonna make some slight changes, but I don't think I need to make it do anything else that's new. So, I already gave Ogma the shards currently. I don't... You just got back. Well, we still got another attempt anyway. So I wouldn't worry about it. Here to chill. Exactly. That's what this is for. Okay. So. I think part of the problem was that there was too many uh, units on the left side just doing nothing and just being in the way. gonna do a lot of the same stuff. However, because I want units out of the way, uh, Wendell's going this way. I am going to have Cecile go this way, just so, so just so uh, she gets out of the way. Katria, you go and up here and fight. I know I don't have physic yet, but that would have been helpful. Strength, skill, defense, and HP. Kind of wish she had the res, but oh well. I'll take it. But you know what sucks, Juice? I made it all the way over up here. Marth was, like, right here. He was so close to getting to the... to seize the throne, but... I couldn't get everyone out of the way in time, so Ryan died to a hero. Yeah, I was very close. Lind, you need to go here. Drog, you're going this way. You, you haven't been helping. So I, uh, now the change is I'm having a good check of my units go to the go to the right, so they stay out of the way of the reinforcements. And don't get attacked. We can have a smaller group go to the left side, and that will help. Yeah, that is a good point. Imagine if it was this escape mechanic. That would have been brutal. That would make this even harder. You would need to give me more time for the enemies to sh uh, before the enemies show up. Yeah, you would probably need to at least give me like two more turns before the enemy shows up, so that people can make their escape. And even then, that's not enough. I've even, like, changed my strategies a bit to make things go a little bit faster, you know? If he had a crit, I would have Ogma attack again, but he didn't. So I will go ahead and do a different strategy. I'm going to let Ryan go here. We're going to trade all these over. Might as well give Ryan the kill while we can. Rule of strength, skill, speed, luck. That is exactly what he needs. Okay. I wanted Lind two squares up from Ryan. And just have her focus on getting rid of the mages. He's back over. 
trade them over here. There we go. Can I heal Agma? Just double check the home. Yes, I can heal Agma. Over the course of this map, Lind got enough strength and speed boosts where she was just able to double and KO the boss. Like, I had her here, and then I checked, I did my math, and she was like one strength boost off from killing him in two hits. So I had her stand here, get rid of this guy, and of course, uh, she gets the strength boost. So now she was able to uh, get rid of Yodel. Okay, let's see. Marth, over here. This way. Yodel. Seal. This one. Perfect. Got the dragon whip. Well, I guess the defense boost helps her take less damage from this guy, but the res boost helps deal with the mages, so hmm. it's an interesting trade-off. I want Rody on this side, so he can trade over the Steel Sword to Agma. But that's the only reason why he's staying over here. Honestly, the sword could go to someone else if I wanted to, but he has good movement. Uh, I think that's it. But yeah, I got very close last attempt. So, like, we're not far away from getting this done. Or this chapter. Right. Seven strength, speed, weapon level. That's... She needs that. She needs that stat. She needs strength and speed. Aura is super heavy. Alright. So the annoying part is we kind of already know how this goes. It's like nothing new. Well, what's going on, Yoran Juice? What's going on? Got to level 9, skill, speed, luck, weapon level. Eh, it's not bad. I'm trying to not give her that much, that many kills. Because I want to try to boost her strength as much as possible with shards. Put the silver. Drog, you keep moving. Oh, 
Oh, so I was actually kind of curious, and I looked up, like, retro achievements for, like, Metal Gear Solid. I'm like, oh, what are they in here? They are, there's a lot of achievements in there. It would take a lot, <laughs> there would take a lot to do there. That is a definite for sure. And a lot of them are probably, like, I think I saw one where it's, like, take down Revolver Ocelot in 12 shots without missing. Just goes on. It's like, oh, it's these types of achievements. And I was just looking at the missable ones. Okay, I can... So I guess the real question is when I'm gonna when am I gonna start that run? <laughs> Get some kills. Crits work too. Come on, Lind. Uh, you're not gonna level up. Not for another two? Maybe three KOs. Probably gonna have to hammer for a next chapter. I'm using it up a lot. And I gotta make sure to repair it before I use it all up. Or else I lose aura. That was the stupid part of uh, my realization in book one. Weapon level defense. Lind is getting some good stat boosts. Come on, Katria, you got this. Okay, that's fine. We can just use this, uh, we can just use the steel. And the thieves are on the move, I'm not worried about them. Honestly, Marth couldn't make it to the village in time if it wasn't for Fina dancing. If Fina wasn't here, I would have had to use, like, Katria and Sheeta to kill the thieves before they get to the village. Marth couldn't make it in time. Strength, skill, weapon level, defense, and HP. No res, but whatever. Look at those stats. Look at them. I know I bring it up every time, but those are good stats. Drop, just keep moving. Everyone just keep moving. Get to the northeast corner. Get Lind in range of these two mages. One to the left. One to the left. If I go one up, though. No. Wait. If I go one square up, I can get rid of three mages. That's a good. That's a good spot. 
If I put Lind in this next square sooner, she would have been in range of the Draco Nine. That's a bad idea. She's in range of three mages. Next turn, we'll get Agma in range of this Draco Knight. In the meantime, same right here. Twenty units close by. If I have to slowly move up. Eventually sending Mas Melissa up to the top right is not a bad idea. That way she can heal up Katria. It's not a bad idea, but she kind of needs to stay down here. three mages for me. the worst boosting stat. The one that never wants to boost. Okay, one more mage. This helps a lot, honestly. Good, we dodge. And we get a crit. That works. in range. Right here. Equip the silver. I'll let Sheeta grab this one. Let's do a little bit of cleanup. to the left. Move them two squares to the left. Move wind here. Let's trade out the shards. Let's top off her HP. Thank you. 
Catchway's gonna need to get healed after this. But I might also have her lure out the mage. So she didn't get rid of it. Oh, she didn't get hit. That helps. And she got a crit. That changes things. That actually does change things a little bit. Okay, Agma, you're fine. No crit, so we'll probably go to my archer. Level 18, strength, speed, defense, and HP. I'll take that level. That's basically what I was trying to boost. Okay. Recruit Minerva. Speed through the text. Come on, speed through it. Come on. Man, I really wish I could just hit uh, start and skip it. Alright. We'll go ahead and let Mark grab the KO, like as I was supposed to last time. There we go. Okay, he's not gonna get another KO after this. After, uh, in, until next chapter, which will definitely give him some shards. now. They're kind of done. Right. I can go ahead and let Katria get close. She'll be okay. I'll just equip the and I can let Sheeta get close too, just in case. I go... No, okay, so I would have to have Warren go, like, right here if I wanted to. Or I could just let Ryan have the KO. And I'll let Ryan have the KO. do I want to do this? I think I have to get rid of the mages first. Or at least one of them. Uh, yeah. I basically need one person to get rid of the mage. And we can let that be linked. Melissa won't level up from a heal. Not yet. So I'm gonna set Lin right here. Yeah. Wait a minute. Can I get range of No, I can't get range of Okay. Lin goes right here. Flip this over. Agma gets topped off. She did get enough. Lock and weapon level. Ah, oh, that's too bad. That is too bad. I could have done some weird trading. Alright. I want her up here. I want Fina up to the north because I'm going to have her try to head towards Marth. Got this. 
this. Speed, luck, weapon level. She's getting the stat boost I want. So... Oh no! I didn't realize she was in range. Uh... Shield to five. I didn't realize she was in range. Oh, that's, uh, that's not good. This is really bad. I got too cocky. Good, we dodged. Of course, the other one's gonna try. Okay, good. Good, good. Oh, okay. I was not planning for this. I have no way to heal her. Uh, I'm gonna let Lind try to head up. Okay, hold on. I do this. I, I think I need to do this. Back, had to take care of something, so uh, I only asked like one question, and that was just how you were doing, basically. But I made a mistake. Uh, Katria was in range of the other last Draco Knight, and now she's in danger. Lynn has to. Uh, I want to make sure Lynn's HP is topped off. She's gonna need it. I got too cocky and moved Katria too close. So, here's the thing. I can actually have her... Oh no, she would have to... Okay. Um... Sheeta, with your silver... You have to do this, Sheeta. Realizing she couldn't have done it, but it would have weakened enough for Katria. That's what I was going for. I don't like that's playing this music. I don't trust it. I need Katria. I need Katria safe. Actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Near victory, yeah. Katria needs healing. She is safe. The mage. Go ahead and attack Sheeta. Now that I don't have to worry about, I'm not. Ha I don't have to worry about the drink on night, So we'll just do this. Here we are going to do that. Everyone has to get moving. Everyone has to try to run away. 
I can do. Lynch should be able to take out the boss, I think. Is it just these two? Yeah. And the reinforcements are here. Shia, you'll be fine. Hey, you dodge. That works. I'll take it. Okay, yeah, go ahead, attack Brody. I don't care. He'll be fine. You're attacking Lind. Okay. Come on, Lind, dodge, please. I need you to dodge. Good. Thank you. Perfect. And they're on the move. This is, this right here, this is the scary threat. This is the threat right here. Granted, if I like promoted Ogma like sooner, just to give her, give him his stat boost and then just trained him, he could probably kill him. And he'd probably be okay, but with his current stats, Skills, not so much. Alright. Lind, you go up here. You attack with Aura. Attack speed of 5, attack of 25. Attack of 21. No, wait. Attack of... Attack of 14. I get the KO. So, because it would be 28 damage. I am going to take this turn, and I'm going to get rid of one of these guys. I'm going to do what I did last time. Weapon level, defense, and HP. No strength that time. However, she got the speed, so that's more attack speed. I'll take it. We gotta take what we can get. She desperately needs more strength, though. Okay. You go up here. I want you stand your ground. Everyone else needs to just keep moving. Needs it. Although, I don't think she's going to be fighting anymore. Not for the rest of this chapter. Okay. Fina. We'll do this. We'll let Navarre escape. And I refuse to call him Navarro. I, he is Navarre. I refuse to call him Nav Navarro. Like you, you, you refuse to call Camus, uh, no, Camus Camus. Skill, luck, weapon level, and HP. Alright, Marth, go over here. You'll be safe from Swarm. You won't get killed by that. Navarro sounds like a real name. Navarro? Not really. Who's left? Okay. Wow. 
buy some stuff. We need Lizard for Lind. I could buy it. Buy him. You know what? If I try to use uh, the other mage, you know what? Two of these. Lynn's got this. seconds for the ad. Let's see. I'll go ahead and let Minerva go and buy something. We already know I'm just buying a Sim Lance. Ad's done. Uh... Lind got the crit again. Uh, Fina got hit by Swarm, but she survived. I guess I'll just hand the KO to Lind. It's not gonna hurt anything. Get a crit. That works too. Level 11, Strength, Skill, Speed, Luck, Weapon Level. That's like everything she needs. She's doing better now. Since we're giving her good strength boost. Honestly, if that square to the right was optionable, that looks like a spot for like a secret shop or something. But you can't even get to it. Do this. Might as well heal Fina, because why not? Stay here, you hold your ground. And it's just those. Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah, we're good. I think Agma's gonna f end up fighting one of them and get attacked by a sniper, but he'll be fine. But that's the most that's gonna happen. Actually, no, he's gonna fight a lot more if I don't get out of there. <coughs> oh no. 
North can't make it. Look at that. So close. Fina couldn't make it either, so it's not like she could have danced. Trying to get units out of the way. Because Agma can fight one hero. Pray for Agma? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Agma, you stand right here. Crits. He's not going to get attacked by two. Yeah, unless Ogma gets a crit, I think he'll be fine. Oh, fucking hell. I didn't realize he will get attacked by that many units. I actually didn't want you to get the crit. This is bad. This is actually worse. I kind of wish he really. I wish he did not get that crit. Because now he's getting attacked by two. That was, I think that was the exact amount of damage. That was the exact amount of damage. Oh my god, we're so close! We're so close. And you know what sucks? If Ogma, if I didn't have Ogma stand on that fort for that one turn, he probably could have gotten away far enough. Man, why is this map so hard? Don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this map. Ah, uh, still here. Okay. Part of it is that Ryan can't move. He doesn't have good movement. Alright. Um... I almost need Fina to... Not follow Mark, but just shortcut to Mark to get him one more extra movement. Because, honestly, Fina hasn't been doing too much that was needed. I almost need Fina to start cutting through the desert and try to get to Marv. Granted, because I had Katria get in range of the last Draco Knight, things changed too. Mm. Okay. It's like, I'm on the vert. You know what? I wasn't using Navar. I'm having Navar also go to the right. Units that I know I won't use for any reason, I want them out of the way. Bar was just kind of in the way. 
but I can end up using Warren. You know what? Because Warren has more movement, if I need a Draco Knight KO, I'm gonna have Warren get the KO. Ryan? I'm having him go to the right. Part of the problem is he has less movement, which is actually hindering him a lot. We're just having a small force on the left side. And Fina, I'm gonna have help out on the left side for a little bit. But after a little bit, I want her to start trying to head to the northeast to meet up with Marth. If she can meet up with Marth sooner, then she can go ahead and uh, give him like one dance. And that will be enough. So most of the time, Fina wasn't actually needed. I've just been having her dance just to get some EXP. Again, I am on the verge of finishing this chapter. It's just minor tweaks to the strategy. It's very minor tweaks. Okay. Yeah, sending Ryan to the right. Purely because he has less movement is a good call. And Navarre's too weak, he hasn't been helping out anyway, just get him out of the way. Warren's not gonna level up from this, so I will just go ahead and do that. I'm on the verge of finishing this chapter. It's going to happen. So, Juice, is this chapter, like, known to be annoying, or is it just, uh, me? Just not getting it. It's not a good sign, Juice. Am I the problem? It's a tricky... It is a tricky runaway chapter through the desert. That is true. But here's the thing. Like, every time I've attempted this, like, I've gotten pretty far and I've gotten pretty close. So it's not like I'm dying in the first two rounds or anything. And honestly, the whole shot the shards are actually making so much of a difference to my strategies. Because in cases like this, Lind is getting just the right stats due to these shards to make this a lot easier. Granted, I am being a little stubborn here and there with, like, not promoting Ogma when I probably should. You know, I'm being a little stubborn. Here. Grab that KO. 
cheat us here for cleanup. Again, this would actually just go a lot faster if uh, rescue was the thing. Because I could easily have Minerva just carry Marth after recruiting her. Like, I can easily do that. Okay, there's Capricorn. We can go here. That's here it keeps moving. I don't understand why archers have the same movement as uh, have the same new movement as strong as armor knights. Honestly, I think that's a problem with archers. I understand why Mark has seven because he's not going to promote. He should have more than the base. But like archers are not being weighed down, are they? Are they? I think archers should have had the same movement as hunters, but when they promote. Oh, jeez, mercenaries have a movement of seven? Wait a minute. Yeah, that's a little ridiculous. Don't they get a movement of eight when they promote? No. Do they get movement? I don't know. Okay, hold on. I need to move. Can I? I need to move here. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. Uh, I'll go ahead and I don't need to heal her. So I'm just gonna like. Something like this. Get Fina up here. And then set Warren right here. Honestly, part of the problem is that Archer specifically just doesn't have good movement. When it really should be at the same pace as like the average unit, which is normally six. But again, mercenaries seem to have seven movement for whatever reason. Which is a little ridiculous. You know, I think uh, the movement is part of the reason why I used Caster instead of Gordon in Book 1. Granted, Caster just seemed like the better unit at the time. So now I'm gonna make sure I don't make the mistake and make sure Catria is not in range of that last Draco Knight. She could have easily died by both of the swarms. I'm so close, I can feel it. Strength, skill, speed, luck, weapon level, and defense. Perfect. Uh, I think I'll add it will play probably in the next 10 ish minutes. I'll refill my water when that happens. Next ad break, I'm refilling my water. Thank you, Catria. A dodge and a crit. What do we get? Strength, skill, defense, and HP. That is a good fight right there. Okay. Well, now that Catria's not wasting a turn to get a KO, I probably have her do something else. Hold on. Shida, you go up here. What's your range? Oh, what is your attacks? Okay. Can you get in range of this one? Yeah. 
I don't care if Catria gets attacked by the mage. Because it's only one damage. I don't really care. Uh, but just in case... We have Wind go up one square. Now that I'm remembering, I needed Fina to dance Lynn just so Lynn had a head start over here. Uh, Agma could go one square right now. Might as well let you dance. You almost want the dancer to have more movement. But six movement isn't bad, but you almost want her want to give her more movement with the boots. But nah. Super cook. By the way, the juice, I don't know if you're still listening, but this cha this music is actually pretty catchy. I'm gonna go ahead and let Catria get in range of the other Draco Knight. She didn't get hit, and I don't care if she gets attacked by mages. She has the resistance. They butcher in the remake? Really? Oh, Because this one's actually catchy. Is it just DS hardware? D DS sound chip? Or just a bad version? Bad instrumentation, maybe? was the only trade-off out of this. It's a, a different tune and bad instrumentation. Or, hmm. I almost need to listen to it just so I can uh, get a comparison. Really? It's that bad? Like, you can't even just tolerate it. It is that bad to turn off the sound. There are very few songs that I could think of I would even attempt, even try, uh, purposely turn off the music. I can't, I can't think of one at the moment, but I know there's a few songs here and there that I really don't like to turn off the music. Well, uh, Jet Set Radio Super Brother is actually annoying one I don't like listening to. Ryan's already had to get around the edge. One song you couldn't tolerate and had to turn off the music and engage? Hmm. I don't remember having a song that I actually didn't like and engage, so... Alright. I need Ogma in range of this guy. Right. Go ahead, and we're going to trade everything over. We're going to get right here. I'm so close. Might as well just top you off. Let me see. 
she... Uh, so Catria cannot afford to go straight for the boss. With his attack and her resistance, it's like the exact amount of HP damage, so... Yeah. But what I can do is, I think I'm out of range of... Uh, swarm, so I can start working on mages. But Catra's gonna get, need to get healed if she's gonna help out with her boss. So, Juice, I've been playing Pokey Rogue, right? And you know how I told you how I have a broken-ass uh, Fero with broken abilities? And, like, it's weird to have, like, early-game mons be so broken? I got another example for you. Uh, I have a uh, Venomoth. I had a shiny Venomoth, so I was using it up to try to power it up. When I unlocked its passive ability, its passive ability is simple. What simple does is whenever the Pokemon gets a status change, whether it's a buff or a debuff, it doubles. And Venomoth gets access to Quiver Dance. And if you don't know what Quiver Dance does, you use Quiver Dance, it boosts special attack, special defense, and speed. And with simple, it's a plus two to those three stats. So Venomoth can be a monster as well. Just one Quiver Dance with Simple is enough. Okay, Ogma, let's see what you can do. Crit. Okay. It's gonna have to go to Warren. We still get the strength, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. That's a good level. I'll take it. Yeah, okay. It's not going to Marth. Oh, hey, Minerva. You're here, too. Why do you say you're the one that killed your brother? I'm pretty sure that wasn't you. Are you trying to kill, uh, take credit for something you never did, Minerva? That's kind of a jerk move. If I seem to recall, it might have been Mary. Or Tiki. It wasn't you, though. <clears throat> Stop trying to take the credit for something you didn't do, Minerva. That's very rude. to go after the boss. Or even the, go after the guy who's sworn. So Katria's kinda... Well, she's not done. She could go and get healed. Strength, skill, luck, and HP. Okay. Warren could level. I would also want to get in range of some mages. Or at least the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let one have the KO right now. No shards, so if he levels up, we gotta just take it. Yeah, okay. Skill, defense, and HP. He needs attack and speed, but we're just going to have to take it. Right. I have 
Wind is right above Magma. I'm gonna take a break and uh, get refill my water here. back. Ad has about 10 seconds left. So I'm going to go ahead. One thing I can definitely do is trade over Afford to have Lind get in range. But I can put Lind Kitty Corner to Agma. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Agma. Level no HP, what but whatever, that's fine. Um, so if Catria is gonna need to get healed, you know what? Let's go ahead and dance. seems to have a better, like, have a better chance of getting through the desert than you. Why does it seem like Ryan has, like, four movement? It feels that way. Catria was in range. She'll survive now. So I'm not worried. Okay. You need to move down here. You need to heal. I think a heal will be enough, not a mend. I don't think mend's needed. Him. 
so what I should do is get Agma. I think I want him right here. Yeah, that'll be okay. Agma goes right here. He has a steel equipped. He doesn't need the shards. Warren gets close. to make sure Lind is not in range, so she needs to stay where she's at. Um, yeah. We're gonna try something like this. some EXP. Drog, keep moving. Bar. Lion, you get over here. Julian. Marth, start moving. Sheeta can as well. Nerva, you can buy a Slim Lance. Go. I'm not worried about Silver Swords for right now. Alright. And the reinforcements are here. You got this. Are you gonna get a crit? No crits. It's been a while since he got one. Ah, Minerva's in range. She'll survive them. I'm not worried. Well, if she, get hit, if she gets hit once, then she should probably back out. Now nah, we can have her buy stuff. We can let her buy stuff. Okay. So now I'm gonna make sure Lind can get to the first mage, and I'll probably have to dance to do that. Is gonna take out the the Draco Knight. And we'll have him go over here. And you know, instead of standing my ground, I'm probably gonna have Ogma also back up as well. Although, for now, I can have him go here. Rody can go up here. Might as well just trade weapons now. You can't make it unless you go like this. What else is saying? Fina is a bit farther up. Almost mashed A there and just lost the almost lost the chance to do the dance. Which she desperately needs to do right now. Okay. Katria, you head up. Go ahead and let Minerva buy more stuff. Uh, two blizzards. Let me 
She doesn't need to get that close, but eh, more movement, I guess. Perfect. Come on, Lint, what'd you get? Something good? Strength, skill, speed, luck, defense. With 25 attack, that should be enough. Units are safe. Alright. Minerva's fine. I'm not worried about her. Even if she gets hit. Yeah, she'll survive the second one. Or, you know, the other one's just not gonna attack. I don't understand the AI sometimes. So, Agma is able to handle a single hero. But I should only be in range of a hero as a last resort. Lind, I know you have the strength to get rid of the boss. I'm just gonna go ahead and top you off. Because I want the boss to attack Lind, I don't want Katria to go after the guy with Swarm. I'm just gonna have him there to back out. Mark can get moving. Again, I'm not sure what square he has to be here. Yeah, okay, we're not gonna be able to dance Mark, that's for sure. Let's move the Warren first. Okay. I am currently out of range. I think it will be best to have Ogman also back up. I think staying in range of a hero is a bad idea. <clears throat> Fire! You will never survive this, young lady. Take this! See, you're almost dead! What is that? Is that light magic? Ah! You see, I survived! It is not strong enough. But you're attacking again, but isn't that really heavy? Oh no, that's too much. That's exact damage! Strength, speed, luck, weapon level. Okay. Man goes in storage. These guys move. I just really hope Warren can get safe. Because Warren's gonna be the the one holding me back. Probably have to get Ogma in range to protect him. And he can protect him. Uh, you're not gonna level up. Neither are you. But I'm willing to give Katria the EXP. But I want Mark to have potentially more healing. Okay, it's it's going it's going to uh Enough. Yeah, ne 
next chapter definitely need to fix Aura. Dancing for me. Okay. First, uh, let's make sure Brody gets two squares. Warren. Hold on. Can I go. Okay. You need to go here. We're safe. I could let Agma fight, but it's not like he's gonna love a lot. So, honestly, I could just leave it alone. I could just leave it alone. Someone's trying to go after Fina. It's like, I got nothing to prove. A good idea. It was a good idea to take more. All right, um, let's get out of here. Your Highness, there is something strange about the temple situation. Hmm? You're right. Something's definitely going on. Let's go, Jagan. I'm worried about Merrick. Well, that was quick. Also, we need to enter the castle so that way we are protected from uh, Astrum and his mer and his gang of bullies. Caden is a free city. It is not under the rule of any country, and it is an independent country. Under the ruling pontifex are numer numerous high bishops, and the city is run with their co-operation. However, because Pontifex Garnet joined forces with Doluna in the previous war, the city was also dragged into conflict and destruction. After losing all the high bishops, Caden was ruled by newly elected Pontifex Window, who began the first steps along the road to re reconstruction. But Window, in order to complete his mission from Goto, left Caden in, in the care of two youths, Merrick and Elran. They were both skilled youths with high hopes placed upon them. Alright. There's two treasures on the outside. Hold on. But you can't get past these. So you need the thief staff to get those two chests. You don't have a choice. If you want those chests, you need the thief staff. Good thing I got it. Oh, if you want if you want those chests too. Well maybe you can cross the river. Maybe you can. But I'm gonna need to make sure to take the thief staff with me. What do we got? Bunch of mages. I'm not wor really worried about that. These mages can go to Atria. Or maybe land? I don't know. Oh, Swarm. Killing Edge. Swarm. Honestly, sending in a Catria right here would be a good idea. Heal. Thunder. Just kind of take a look around. What we got? And here is Elrin, which we can, we should be able to talk to him with Warren, or Wendell. Uh, and he has the Ares. Okay. Now we need to make sure we take Wendell. Okay. Right, no flyers. Okay. No flyers. Um, 
Shrog is not going to be that helpful. I'll bench you. Uh, I can try to feed Rhodey some kills. And Cecile. Lind will be helpful, but I wouldn't mind holding off. Okay, hold on. Where's Minerva? Okay. Let's put this in storage. Let's go ahead and trade... ...with... ...Catria. I want... Honestly, she doesn't need the Slim Lance, so we'll give her the Iron. Give her the iron. The slim can probably go to someone else. Let's discard that. I don't think anyone needs the slim lance. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on. We'll hand it to Rody. He kind of has trouble with attack speed. It might help him. Okay, Lizard goes to Lind. Virgo. Virgo is plus 20 weapon. It's the resistance that I care more about. It's 30 resistance. Who would want resistance? Probably one of my mages. So... She's not going to use the Guiding Ring for a little while, so we'll go ahead and do that. Deposit the Guiding Ring. We don't need the Worm Slayer, so we're good there. Okay. I don't think... What I'm going to do, I'm going to trade the Steel Sword over to Rhodey. Oops. There we go. Let's see. List. We want the hammer, and we want the thief. There we go. What does this do? Boost magic defense. Okay. We don't need anything else. Rescue cannot be used by you. All right. Let's see. Ryan's fine. He's fine. Cecile's fine. Lind, you're good. We'll use uh, Emma. Hammer. Catria's fine. Logma's fine. Warren's fine. Sheeta. Navar. Take Fina. We gotta bench someone else for Wendell. Benchita. Well, no, we can, we can feed her kills here. Like, after Katria gets a few kills, we can feed the rest to Sheeta. But I also wouldn't mind feeding them to Navar as well. You know what? Let's go ahead and bench. Oh, who do I bench? bench let's bench to seal let's go ahead and trade the lady sword over into Sheeta there we go that will help and then we'll take one that should be okay Give it a go. Wait, hold on. Am I trying to cap Katria? I think I am. And I'll pair these two together. So then when Katria's done, Sheeta can go ahead and start training. 
think I want Navar and Ogma to work together. Because once Ogma's done. Oh, Lin has the stuff. Um. It was. These. I could give Ogma the stuff, or I could hand them to Ryan. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Let's try it. Merrick, our match is due. Wait, Elran, why must we fight? We both studied it under Master Wendell. Why do you hate me so much? Why must Reproids fight? Is he making my next? I became Master Student before you. And I was stronger than you. Yet, he gave Excalibur, which should have been mine, to you. Why, Merrick? Is it because you're a noble of Altea? I was so angry. I believed I was going to be Master's successor. Is that it? I'm sorry, Elwyn. I, I will apologize to you. However, I never once thought about succeeding Master. I don't hate Caden, but I have already decided to return to my homeland upon finishing my studies. At Altea, there is someone that I wish to protect for, uh, protect for my whole life. So that's why Master Wendell's successor can only be you. Elrin, please, to reclaim Altea, will you lend me your strength? Altea? The, co the country that betrayed the Arcanaean Empire and, so, was invaded by them? Why should I help them? Our mage army has already sworn loyalty to Emperor Hardin. Right? So it was you. It was you who brought the Altian army here. N no! It's all a misunderstanding. Shut up, you traitor. I'm not going to listen to your lies anymore. Will your Excalibur prevail? Or will my Thoron? Come, let us find out. Alright, so... Okay. Where is... Katria, you're going this way. I guess I'll have... Ryan go this way. Too bad no one can reach. I'll go ahead and let Ryan go that way. Ogwin goes this way too. Uh, Gwendol's just kind of here. I think I'll go ahead and let Warren go this way. Just in case backup's needed. If I want him to have better strength, skill, speed, ah, he should be here. Marth, you go over here. And for right now, I want Lind here. I am going to dance Ryan.
just go ahead and let Sheeta get closer, I guess. Merrick. I don't necessarily want to use Tholon. should be done. I see where this could be challenging. You don't necessarily want to start attacking Elren with Merrick because Wendell needs to talk to him. But Merrick's in a situation where he's going to be attacked if you try to leave by physical attackers. But I'm still going to have him go down here and take out the mercenary. Or work on it. As long as the mercenary does not get a crit on me, Merrick will survive. So, honestly, it sounds like bringing, uh, oh, you're willing to move. Mind. I will not lose to Merrick. His friends are my enemies. Die, Thora! You're running away. Never mind. However, he can't survive. Why does he not have a culinary? This ain't gonna work. Yeah, you're gonna see what's about to happen. Got a killing edge, whoop de doo. If I want to bring him closer, we can do that. Catria. Close. Too bad I can't use the rescue staff. Thief staff. Okay. What's in this treasure? And we get a bunch of EXP, but what did I get? A silence lance! I didn't even know silence was in the game. So there's a different strategy we can do instead. Turn one, instead of uh, instead of filling up aura, we grab the silence staff. And then turn two, 
we go ahead and silence him. That way Merrick will be safe. As a strategy. Definitely a strategy. Either that, or I grab, I, I bench like Brody or something, and bring in Yumina so I could just rescue her. Like, that's the other option. Because. There it is. Alright. Please, must be safe. Time to reset. Okay. Silence probably has to take a few turns, though. Yeah, Merrick, why do you have to suck? Okay, it's either I rescue him, or I silence. Not sure which. Hmm. Silence lasts for just like what? A few turns? He's not a threat. He's only a threat because Merrick's by himself. Like, he himself is not that challenging. I think we're gonna go with the rescue. Oh, let's go ahead and... Run the bar. Let's hand this all to Ryan. Let's do that now before I forget. This is just a good chapter for range fighters to gain EXP. Alright. Of course they're all the way down here. Alright. I still kind of want to go in the same directions. Catria... Doesn't really. We could just cross the river. Huh. I guess I could just have Marth cro start crossing the river. Work on getting rid of this guy. It's not a bad idea. We'll do that. And we'll just move it over here. winning? Well, we got through chapter 9. So that's a plus. Uh, Merrick died. Not because he couldn't win, but he's just in a bad spot. He's just in a really bad spot right now. So... Sheeta, I want you over here. I think I'm gonna... Start taking out mages. Okay. And I want to be in range of that one. We need to get right here. Yep. Make sure this 
steals equipped, and you're good to go. Next, Yumina. I want to rescue Merrick. Honestly, Merrick could actually just beat him. It's not an issue. The problem is that we should we should be able to talk to him with uh, Warden or Wendell. The villager in the last chapter said something about having Warden Wendell, jeez, talk to him. So yeah. Have you go ahead and hammer an aura. We'll do this. Skill, luck, weapon level. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, we're gonna have Merrick go over here, grab a uh, grab a heal out supply. We'll hand it to you, Mina. Alright. This should go a little bit better. Now I don't really need the silent staff. Which way is he trying to go? Is he gonna try to cross the river? Is he that hell bent on getting rid of Merrick? Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Strength, skill, speed, luck. Good. Okay. Yeah, if he's that worried about going after Merrick... Oh, wait, no. He can't cross the river. There's no way. Neither of them can. You need, like, what? Seven movement just to start crossing? Yeah. I really want to try to give the XP over here to Katria. Try to have her... Try to have her, uh... Tap out. Do that or I try Warren, but... Let's keep Wendell close for a second. Merrick. So, I already know about the Silent Staff. Let's see what this one is. We could theoretically open the chest in the middle with Marth. We probably don't need the staff to get it. Unlock. Unlock must be for doors, then. Okay. No doors here, though. Marth, go ahead and start attacking. Good, he dodged. No doubling. He's probably gonna run away to get healed, so... Get rid of the cleric. Perfect. Next, Navar, Agma, you get over here. I want Yumina to head over here as a backup healer. We'll just have you just follow them. It's fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. Now this is the, currently this is the second attempt of Chapter Ten, Hot Corn Dog. Merrick died. Honestly, if I kept Merrick up here, he probably would have been fine and just keep fighting Elrin. But we need to talk to him. With Wendell, so. 
that's the only reason. I figured you'd attack Marth. I will not lose to Merrick. His friends are my enemies. Die, Thora! He says the same thing. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, there might be reinforcements. Now that I think about it. Because Astrum is still chasing after us, isn't he? That could be an issue. Ah, you're using Swarm. Okay. Ryan, please dodge. Of course you didn't. Why would you? And he's running away, that's fine. There's currently a banner for characters with glimmer. Guy is there. He got him as a five-star unit. Not sure why he's there since guy is normally a or gi. Wait, is it gi or guy? Whatever. Normally a three to four star unit, meaning he's considered a comic book. I thought Marth would be able to get rid of the fighter, but he would have been better off going after the swarm mages. I could go one square up. Okay. One square up. Heal you up. Perfect. Yuminus here is just to be a backup healer. After I use that rescue. Alright, over here. I think what I'll do is I'll have Sheeta get them close. I'll Sheeta bait them out. I can go into the queue. This, Wendell, honestly, I don't know what he should do. He should just stay for now. Merrick, just stand there. Uh, okay. Let's just see how this goes. Yeah, I figured Merrick would. Or, he would try to do that. He's trying to chase after Merrick, and that's the only thing he's doing. He is, like, hell-bent on going after him. So in that case, maybe I can manipulate where he goes. Dodge, that's good. I honestly don't care if this guy gets healed. It's fine. And we still don't have a warp staff. So going after Ryan. We should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. On 
this side over here. Hey, Retsy, how's it going? Uh, we made it through Chapter 9 already. Took a few tries, but we made it through. So we're on Chapter 10. Right now, I'm going to have Agma. Right here, we are going to... Actually, I... you don't need to trade. You don't need to trade. Agma's not close to leveling up anyway. He doesn't need the stuff. But right now, I'm going to have you heal. Right, what's going on your on your end, Retsy? Over here, uh, Katria, I want you to grab this guy out. I think you're just yeah, you're strong enough to want your guy out. Perfect. She's already in range, that's fine. I'll leave it at that. Warren, you didn't get hit, you're fine. I don't want Mark to go after this guy just yet. Even though it would be a good idea. Still trying to get Lysithia? Okay. Well, yeah, you really gotta boost the support if, if you want to try to get her. Honestly, with all the activities, if you utilize like the cooking pair up thing. Like, it's easy to do. Uh, like, uh, in that game, you're you're able to invite people to have, like, a meal with you. Pick Lysithia. You know, you know, just constantly do stuff like that. If I have Merrick go this way, Elrin may just start heading this way as well. And there's less guys over here now. I, again, I have never actually attempted to recruit a character from a different house, so I don't know how easy it, it would be. But then again, on my current playthroughs, it's like New Game Plus, so if I wanted certain characters, it would be very easy for me to do. just in case. I'm move you over here. Might as well just do the thief sap. What is in this treasure chest? So there's a silent staff. There's an unlock staff. And 14 speed and HP. Man, she really should have some of these shards. Bunch of gold. I'll take it. I need gold. Alright. Yeah. Now he's moving to the right. That's helpful. Okay, I can manipulate him. And we're gonna go with Manuela. How long have you set us? I said he is too hard. Yeah, you have to have magic stats at 15 or 20, and we're already at chapter 10. Oh, yeah, you definitely don't have time. Granted, I have tried to get some of the, um, the church recruits, but I wasn't able to get their friendship maxed enough in time. I did try to get some of them. I 
honestly thought he would move. Not what I expected. Do the, do the mercenaries just not want to move? We'll find out. And I'm going to have Merrick and Lindell over here. Go ahead. Oh, it's L fire, no wonder. Wait a minute. Why do you have no defense? Catria have Does she only have resistance when she's on the Pegasus? They only have resistance when they're actually on the Pegasus. They may even have more defense. No, I think it's just the resistance. I didn't know that would be a factor. Okay. Well, right now I am going to try to... Could have had Marth go, on, go after these guys sooner. Strength, speed, weapon, level. Good. He has no shards, so we lucked out. This guy may go after Marth, but he may just try to go this way and go out. Try to get to Merrick. And now I'm just gonna heal Warren. So, like, is Lysithia the only character you're gonna try to recruit? You were trying to recruit for your team? Or. Oh, wait. Uh, you're trying to get Mangua, Hamon, Mercedes, and. So, you're gonna try to prioritize the other three now? These guys just may not move. other one didn't move, then I don't think these will. Try this. Might not be a bad idea to have Navarre on that side. Okay, he went after Marth. Close his target. Good, we dodged. Weapon level. Ryan's getting those boosts that he needs. Okay, of course you're going after Warren. Just Mercedes. Since she is the one of the best mages in the game. Killed the death knight pretty easily. Yeah, when I played Golden Deer, I had Lysithia. Okay, you did move. You do move. How come the other one didn't? That was a crit. And that only did six damage. How weak are these guys? I thought these guys would be a lot tougher. I thought they would be a lot tougher, honestly. Well, that one was more dangerous. currently playing. I think I'll hold off for a second. Um, could set you right here. Okay. The 
If you get attack on this guy, it's 17. 16. 23. Yes. Catria can get the KO. 3, 2, 1. That's done. Having Catria go ahead and grab this KO. I thought these mercenaries would be a lot tougher. You know, after dealing with all the heroes, I thought, I thought I would be in more trouble. Level 19, Strength, Skill, Speed, Luck, and HP. Look at that. Oh, she was capped on some of the other stats, but it was due to being on the Pegasus. Huh. That's interesting. Does that mean that if I'm on the Pegasus and I have a cap of 20, that stat has a chance of never going up? But if I want the chance of that uh, that stat to go up, I should dismount. And then it could still go up. It can't go past 20 when, when going back to the Pegasus. But it could make base Catria better. This is interesting. I did not realize the, the Pegasus would make that much of a difference. Um, no matter what... Well, attack of 6... No matter what, I can't double. Attack at 12, no... Yeah, it's two hit KOs, but you know what, we'll take it. We'll take it. Going after Marianne, but it was too much work to do three. Yeah, I... I wouldn't worry too much. I think on your first one, on your first run, you may be able to get one or two recruits. Not counting Sir Sylvain if you pick a female Violet. But... Yeah, I don't think you'd want to worry about that too much. If you're doing New Game Pluses, New Game Plus runs, there are easy ways. But you are not currently doing New Game Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and heal... Warren. I, I still need a Thief Staff, but... I, I need to focus on healing at the moment. Okay, Mark. Originally, I was thinking of setting him here, get rid of the guy with Swarm. I should be able to survive, but now that I'm really thinking about it, I don't think he could get away from this guy on the second turn, so I think I'm better off doing this. Get Ogma right. Yes, yes we can. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's just use up the iron. It's not gonna hurt anything, especially with the crit. But yeah, you could totally play through uh, three houses with just the base uh, units that you that you get without recruiting anyone. That's basically what I did. Okay. 
one square? Yeah, one square up. After that, the mages on that side are done. This side... I want Warren right here. You just said join us in chapter 13, so we have another, you have another unit. Speaking of Yuritsa, uh, he was not recruitable when the game launched. Uh, that was something they added in. I think uh, Black Eagles was a little rushed like during development and so eventually especially like near the end like i don't i don't know if they fixed it like how much they fixed but like the epilogue was just kind of uh rushed i don't want to say too much because you're still playing but during uh at, after after a certain amount of time they did an update where they added yuritsa as a playable character to the Black Eagles route specifically. If I had the steel, I should be fine. Yeah, they added Yuritsa, they added. Uh, they added a few things to Black Eagles specifically. I everything. But Yuritsa was one of them. So when I played, I didn't have that as an option. And it kind of made me mad that I went Black Eagles first. He joins a little late. Well, he should already be a promoted unit. Although, with three houses, I don't know if that really matters. Yeah, with three houses, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think being promoted unit really makes a difference. Not like other Fire Emblem games. I, you know what, I think it would be best if he stays out of the range. Let's have you go over here. That way you're out of range. Katria could use healing, especially if I want her in range of the mage. But I could let Sheeta be made. Katria, go over here. Catria. There we go. Again, right now I just kind of want to promote, get her to level cap and promote her. I should be doing the same thing with Agma, but I'm not. Alright, speaking of which... I'm gonna let. Actually, no, 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 you know what? We're gonna do something like this. Get these two close. Have you trade over the items? But yeah, not only does he join a little late, I think if one thing that I remember that even if you decide to never recruit anyone outside your house and only get the characters that are just kind of given to you with like no effort, like through the plot, you'll still have too many units and you'll have to put at least one person in the bench usually. Or you usually have like just enough units. You either just have enough or you have to bench at one or two later. You gotta head out. Well, have a good day, Juice. I may or may not be able to finish this chapter. We'll see. At least I'm getting rid of the swarm. But yeah, have a good day, Juice. Hopefully I can finish this map today. This doesn't seem that bad. Unless reinforcements show up. That could make a difference. Okay, yeah, we're good. All 
right, Catria. Go ahead and do your thing. I have a feeling... No, if I want to cap her out, she needs to take out one of the healers. Sheeta, I need you right here. Everyone else can get close. Warren needs healing, but he's not in danger. So I'm just going to use the... Let's see what this is. And yeah, Red Sea, that's not even counting for if you have the DLC and you got the the fourth house. That's four new characters right there. Luck and weapon level. Eh. Should we only need some shots? Oh. What? Reveals insides of buildings? Is it like a torch? Is it a... That seems like a torch to me. I think we're just going to leave everyone alone. Focus on the main units you have for now until he joins and replace a unit. Right, right. But here's the thing. You may not end up replacing him. Because you put so much uh, work into your other units that they may just have more skills and and stuff that they'll probably just end up being better than Yuritsa. That is a possibility. I mean, obviously you make up your mind when you get to him, but... You may find out that he may be underpowered compared to your other units that you trained up. I can't reach him just yet. Okay, if everyone moves down one square... Grab the silent staff. I really hope that I just didn't waste all these, uh, all the thief uses. I have one more, but that might have been a bad idea. Maybe I should have uh, held off on these two and have Marth take care of it. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best route would have been. Shoot, I can have it. How many chapters does this game have? Well, okay, so this is basically two games in one. Book one is a remake of the NES game. Got rid of five chapters. Book one is 20 chapters long. Book two is about 20 chapters long. Maybe it has a few more after that. So, again, this is like a 40 chapter game. Now, granted, if you book this game up fresh, you have the choice of just doing book two. You don't have to do book one. But if you do play book one as well, it's a 40 chapter game. Maybe like 43, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, Wendell. Yeah, Wendell can talk. Elred, what are you doing? Oh, Master Wendell, you've returned. You still don't understand my actions. You are indeed a talented magi magician. But you don't have a caring heart. That is why I didn't pass on Excalibur to you. A caring heart? 
before I have had already decided that, when the time was right, you would become my successor. But what you're doing now is betraying your own will. How are you how are you different from Garneth? You're comparing me with the Dark Pontifex Garneth? Please, Master, that's too much. Listen to me. Garneth and Milo uh Miloha were both Goto's most talented students. But Goto saw that Garneth's inner heart was weak. So he gave the oratory to and catered to Miloha. And Miloha. It's like no I near the end there, but the L saw me off. <clears throat> Driven mad by jealousy, Garneth stole the Dark Sphere from Goto and created the that created the Inhulu spell. As a result, his heart was corrupted by the Dark Sphere. Ah, okay. Originally, Garneth was a youth with, with a strong sense of justice, but his jealousy led him down the path of destruction. Elrin, do you understand now? Master, that is all I can say to you. I hope you will understand. You still have many things to learn, and your will is too weak. Do you really intend on re retreading Garneth's path? Master, I'm really sorry. I... I see my wrongs. Please forgive me. Elrad, you should begin by letting your strength be used by others. Understood? And we got Elrad. The boss of this chapter has been recruited. It's kind of weird. And he has Ares. He has the Ares shard. What does Ares give me? It only does one thing. A plus 40% chance to boost luck. That's all it does. Oh. That's something. Magma. You go do your thing. I'll have Ryan fall be follow behind. I will probably not use... Uh, Elran. We've got all the treasures. Yep. The Ketria. Go ahead. Grab your KO. Perfect. Oh, it's only 10 EXP. I mean, they are clerics. We're almost done. Unless something stupid happens. Bring you up here. You don't need to open treasure. Uh, I don't need you to go after that guy. I think we're good. I think we're about good. I'll get a little bit more EXP with you. Strength, speed, and weapon level, and that's something. So, the tricky part of this chapter is getting Merrick away from uh, Elran. Because he's just chasing after Merrick. So, your options that I could think of are using rescue. That is your first option. Your first option is to have rescue be an option, but only Yumina can use rescue. So if you're out of rescues, that's not an option. Or if you're out of rescues, or if Yumina's dead, those are not options you can go with. Your other option is to try to have, I don't know, oh, Merrick can't cross this. So you would have to have Merrick just run to one side and just try his best to catch up. The other option? Warp's not an option. Honestly, I don't know what else you could try to do. But that honestly really only matters if you're trying to recruit Elf. Because Wendell needs to get to him. And that's the only way. Catria's cat. Skill, strength, skill, speed, and luck. 
She is ready to promote. I think I'll promote her next chapter. And even when she's not on the Pegasus, she is still capped in many stats. That's nice. Uh, one thing I will do... Is we're going to... Actually, hold on. I'm going to have Sheeta go all the way down there. Marth? You go up here. I'll say this, though. Um... It doesn't seem like there's any reinforcements. One change I would do is have Marth go up here and open these chests himself. If you brought a thief, have, the, have him do that. Don't waste your thief staffs on uh, these two. Use them on these two on the end and save your thief staffs for later. That would be a change I would make. And that's like the only thing I can think of. Just two more clerics. It's not much EXP, but it's EXP nonetheless. Nah, I'm not gonna hand it to Arma. Actually, it doesn't really. I'm gonna hand it to Sheeta because she can level up with it. Sheeta's gonna get a lot of strength boost out of this, most likely. As well as other stats. We'll go over here. Agma, just block the path. We'll give them both to Sheeta. Eh, it doesn't matter. We're gonna leave it there. They can't escape. Agma's blocking the path. So honestly, the, the trickiest part of this chapter is the whole, if you want to recruit Elrin. That's the only tricky part. If you don't care to recruit him, you could just Merrick, have Merrick fight him. Just have Merrick, like, he's already here, right? So just have Merrick, like, stand next to the throne or something. Just so he's out of range of everyone else, yeah. It's not that bad. This chapter isn't that bad. Last chapter was a lot worse. Alright. You grab the KO. She just gonna level up out of this. Level 10. Strength, skill, speed, defense, and HP. That is a good level. And that is it. I thought there might have been reinforcements. I thought we were still going to be chased by George. So I think... So this chapter ain't that bad. North, can you hear me? Ah, Goto. Yes, I can hear you. You're using the power of magic to talk to me, right? Yes. You summoned me. I will share with you my strength. What is it that you wish for? Uh, Goto, there's something I want you to tell me. Why was Hardin changed so suddenly? Also, what is the power that is protecting him? That would be the Dark Sphere. The Dark Sphere is what's shielding Hardin. The Dark Sphere? What's that? Well, if you have listened to Wendell's explanation, you would know. Hmm, I guess I have no choice but to tell you. In this world, there exist five sacred spheres containing mysterious power. Aside from the light, star, and geospheres, we did get the geosphere. We did get that one. Caused earthquakes uh, that you have seen. There is also the life sphere and what is known as the dark sphere. The dark sphere opposes the light sphere, and it can greatly increase the strength of one's mind. It can give its own courage, release them from suffering, and increase their ambitions and wishes. And during battles, it can control the enemy's mind, as well as prevent them from moving. But the Dark Sphere is too dangerous for humans, humans to use. It will react with humans' anger, disdain, and 
jealousy, causing them to increase tenfold. Eventually, he would destroy their soul and turn them into a monster. I don't know how hard it attained the Dark Sphere, but after that, his, his heart was consumed by darkness. How could that... Why? Shouldn't Har Hardin shouldn't be such a weak man. He should be happy for being able to marry his beloved Nina. Why should he be jealous? Your Highness, humans aren't simple, simple creatures. But regardless, as long as Hardin has the Dark Sphere, you cannot win. The only thing that can defeat the Dark Sphere is the Light Sphere. If you want to defeat him, you must come to me to obtain it. Huh? Goto, really? With the Light Sphere, we could save Hardin? His heart has not been completely consumed. Perhaps he can be saved. But that will depend on whether Hardin is really as strong-willed as you say. Thanks, Goto. Please allow me to borrow the Light Sphere. Hmm. But I have one condition. Oh, it was the Star Sphere that broke. That's right. Okay. If you can reach the Ice Dragon Shrine, where I am, I will hand over the Light Sphere over to you. That won't be an easy task. There has been only one human that has ever made it here. That's right, the hero Henri. If you, like Henri, are a true hero, I'll lend you this fear. Oh, Martha, do you have the courage to challenge Henri's way? Yes, of course. Please let me go there. I must obtain the light sphere. Then first, head directly north. Across the Mamo Mamotor Desert, and then come to Thabe's Tower. I will have somebody meet you there. Okay, I understand. I'll be there for sure. We'll make that save, and we will definitely we'll be calling it. I'm slowly like I got I've been having stuff to do to work on, but before we call it. Might as well show off any achievements that I've gotten past a uh, stream or two. Let's see. Uh, clear chapter 9, clear chapter 10. Let's see, what else do we got? Uh, I know we got, like, another one in here. Santa. Recruit Elrin. I think it's just those three. I want to double check, but I think it is just those three right now. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. Anyway, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 stream so a link in the back page. Next chapter, uh, next time, it's chapter 11. Anyway, have a good day. Later.